Now, there are um, a very unusual moments in the whole Ford affair. One of the most unusual was um, when um, uh, Henry Ford, in the midst of uh, printing these articles, sent a gift, as he regularly did, uh, to Detroit's famous reform rabbi, Rabbi uh, Franklin, Leo Franklin. Um, well, in the middle of, of uh, uh, you know, a whole series of anti-Semitic uh, articles, what do you think Rabbi Franklin did when he got a free car from Henry Ford? He returned it. Uh, you know, uh, you, you must have the wrong person here. You've just accused Jews of all sorts of things. Uh, how can you offer me a gift? Apparently, Henry Ford was deeply surprised. I'm talking about the Jews. I'm not talking about you. Uh, and um, this, re I mean, even though this is humorous to us, it does remind us of an important theme in the scholarship on anti-Semitism which we talked about also early on, the mythical Jew and the Jew next door. To Henry Ford, Rabbi Franklin is the Jew next door. Oh, he's highly respected, uh, honorable, an important religious leader. Um, I you know, want to be on good terms with him. I live in Detroit. He's uh, an important figure. I'll send him a car. Of course, uh, uh, from Rabbi Franklin's point of view, if you're writing all of these negative things about Jews, then I side with them. Uh, but it's, it's an interesting example how in the anti-Semitic mind, you can simultaneously sometimes have, you know, oh, my can't be an anti-Semite. My best friend is a Jew. Uh, so uh, here you have Rabbi Franklin, the Jew next door, and then you have uh, the mythical Jew. I would like those books back, please. Um, uh, there, the international Jew um, uh, uh, that, uh, thanks, uh, you know, that, that he's writing about here. And that's a moment that suggests to me that Ford really did have this tension between uh, uh, the mythical Jew uh, and uh, 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 and the Jew next door. Uh, 